Today, we take a comprehensive look at three high-impact stories. The rollout of pioneering hydrogen microgrids in New Mexico and Houston, Plug Power's ambitious project Quantum Leap with its financial outlook, and the U.S. military's accelerated embrace of hydrogen as a tactical field power source. As always, we'll connect robust economic data to the technology on display, showing not just what happens, but what it means for industry, communities, and defense. All of this on today's Hydrogen Podcast. The emergence of hydrogen-powered microgrids marks a transformative leap in distributed energy resilience. In northern New Mexico, Kit Carson Electric Cooperative, backed by federal innovation grants and research expertise from Los Alamos National Laboratory, is implementing a $2.5 million pilot hydrogen microgrid to serve over 30,000 residents in the Cuesta area. The system blends hydrogen fuel cells capable of multi-day continuous operation with advanced battery storage and solar generation, directly supporting a local grid already 100% solar powered. What sets hydrogen apart is its long duration reliability. It can bridge blackouts and fuel periods of low sunlight for days, not just hours, ensuring critical operations and community safety. Economic analysis reveals striking benefits. Where battery-only systems are limited by charging cycles and cost $350 to $700 per kilowatt hour for multi-day backup, hydrogen-supported microgrids drive those costs down to potentially $120 to $230 per kilowatt hour for installations above 1 megawatt hour, factoring capital and operational savings. For the cooperative, this means infrastructure that's both more resilient and more capital efficient. No need for more expensive grid upgrades or diesel peaker plants. On average, these microgrids could save the utility between $120,000 and $220,000 annually on fuel and maintenance, while supporting peak load management and grid stability. And down in Texas, h and International is deploying the first commercial high-grid microgrids near Houston, offering 4 megawatts of continuous off-grid energy at costs as low as $0.04 cents per kilowatt hour, produced entirely from on-site solar-powered electrolysis. Unlike traditional distributed energy solutions, h and systems occupy spaces as small as a parking lot, yet provide enough power for medium-sized manufacturing or logistics sites. The economic case is compelling. Customers lock in predictable energy costs, bypassing fluctuating grid rates and gaining independence from aging power networks, a critical advantage as Texas faces increasingly frequent grid disruptions. The market for hydrogen microgrids is projected to hit $3.6 billion globally by 2028, growing at over 45% compound annual growth rate as utilities, hospitals, and emergency centers seek new solutions amid climate-driven grid instability. The technology's ability to eliminate NOx, SOx, and particulate emissions also generates local health savings valued in the millions, this is according to EPA estimates, especially where diesel generators are replaced outright. Plug Power's second quarter of 2025 reveals a company at the crossroads of industry growth and fiscal discipline. Revenue climbed to $174 million, up 21% year over year, driven by increased shipments of gen drive fuel cells, robust adoption of gen fuel infrastructure, and surging demand for gen eco electrolyzers. Notably, Plug Power's global electrolyzer programs now total over 230 megawatts in deployments, placing it among the world's top three providers in the segment. Behind these headline figures lies Plug's radical cost control effort, Project Quantum Leap. This initiative seeks $150 to $200 million in annual savings by reducing workforce, streamlining supply chain logistics, and renegotiating hydrogen procurement deals. The impact is already servicing in the financials. Gross margins improved from a disastrous negative 92% in Q2 of last year to negative 31% Q2 this year. Non-cash restructuring charges stood at $80 million, marking continued asset optimization, but also hinting at deeper capital redeployment. Enhanced cash discipline is central to the story. Plugs operating and investing cash use shrank by over 40% compared to last year while unrestricted cash reserves now exceed $140 million, buffered by access to $300 million in debt capital. 
The company's strategic forecasts point to achieving gross margin neutrality and turning operating cash flow positive by 2025, placing it in a much stronger position to capture rising demand in global hydrogen markets. The extension of policy supports, like the investment tax credit and the clean hydrogen production tax credit, the PTC, has triggered a rush among customers to sign new contracts, boosting bookings and accelerating revenue. Leadership projects full-year 2025 revenue to reach nearly $700 million with positive free cash flow within reach for the first time. Analysts see plug power as an industry barometer. If its pivot succeeds, it could prove the economics and scalability of green hydrogen at enterprise and distributed level. The global hydrogen and fuel cell market, according to PwC and Markets and Markets, is set to exceed $150 billion by 2030. So profitability and scale now are make or break for market trust and funding. And in our third story today, hydrogen's third front is perhaps its most quietly revolutionary, powering tactical units for the U.S. Marine Corps and broader Department of Defense. The Naval Research Laboratory, NRL, has transformed hydrogen fuel cell technology, originally used for unmanned aerial vehicles, or UAVs, into the hydrogen small unit power, or HSUP, systems for Marines. Each 8-SUP pack delivers 1.2 kilowatts of silent, clean power for communications, sensors, and drone operations critical for final mile missions where stealth and long endurance are non-negotiable. The operational and economic implications are significant. Hydrogen fuel cells are at least three times more energy dense than lithium ion batteries of equivalent weight. And when field tested at Camp Lejeune, Yuma, and Bellows, the HSUP system reduced marine pack weights by over 15 pounds per operator, translating into greater mobility and less fatigue in combat situations. Traditional diesel generators cost up to four to $500 per gallon delivered in extreme environments due to fuel convoys, security, and logistics. HSUP, by leveraging on-site hydrogen and renewable supplement, can cut field power costs by up to 40% and lower mission resupply vulnerabilities. Maintenance and endurance shift as well. Each fuel cell is rated for over 5,000 hours of operation and features modular, waterproof housing, allowing rapid swaps and easy integration to vehicles, mobile towers, and communication arrays. Advanced prototypes, such as high-tech electrolyzers, enable units to generate hydrogen in the field using locally available renewables, further reducing the operational footprint and reliance on hydrocarbon supply chains. The Defense Innovation Unit, or the DIU, estimates that transitioning even 20% of the military's fuel generator and battery budget to hydrogen could yield savings of $120 million a year not including logistics cost reductions or the strategic advantage of silent operations and lower heat signature, key in modern contested environments. Hydrogen's low emissions profile also aligns with federal mandates for the DOD to reduce pollution, with potential to cut overall base emissions by up to 17% within five years as adoption scales. As these developments show, hydrogen isn't just a component of decarbonization policy. It's rapidly proving its worth in economic and operational terms across the spectrum. Microgrids are delivering multi-day resilience, saving utilities and businesses substantial sums while slashing local air pollution and public health costs. For plug power, aggressive restructuring and supply chain innovation have turned the corner on margin improvement, signaling the possibility of profitable scale in a market worth $150 billion plus within the next decade. The military's embrace of hydrogen for tactical power, meanwhile, reframes the conversation. Here the value isn't only about green, it's about endurance, stealth, reduced logistics and operational freedom. Field deployment economics with cost savings on supply and maintenance are proving as decisive as the technology itself. Together, the market data and field experience point to hydrogen's versatile, resilient, and cost-effective benefits, far beyond its early promise as just an emissions reduction tool. All right, that's it for me, everyone. If you have a second, I would really appreciate it if you could leave a good review on whatever platform it is that you listen to. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, YouTube, whatever it is. That would be a tremendous help to the show. And as always, if you ever have any feedback, you're welcome to email me directly at info at thehydrogenpodcast.com. So until next time, keep your eyes up and honor one another.